Hi everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today in Arc Survival Evolved, we're going to be looking at how to have our game run smoother using largely graphics settings. Some of this stuff is going to work on console, but mostly we're kind of PC focused here. Um, so the first thing we want to do is kind of see, okay, how how do our settings affect things? So we want to want to bring up an FPS counter, and there's two ways to do that in the game. One, you can go into Steam. Uh, you can right click on the game, go into uh, settings and then you'll have in game will show up and then you'll have an option for in game FPS counter and then you can decide where you want that to show up I've got it in the top right the other way to do it is to bring up the console commands and that's hit the tab key and then we're going to type in stat FPS and then we'll hit enter and now we've got green showing up and so we've got two different ways of basically getting the same thing the green one shows up a little bit better and it's kind of a little bit more visible to use but they pretty much uh, agree with each other so next let's look at our options so there's different ways to launch and we'll look at that at the end of the game but right now We'll look at this. So I've got a nice computer. Um, it's still, Arc is not that well optimized. So it, some of these, uh, it's still good to kind of use this to get the maximum FPS out of the, out of the game. Also, uh, when I started making Arc videos, I had a laptop. And if you look at any of those real early videos, they look extremely muddy. And I still get comments about how bad stuff looks. But anyway, so let's go right into it. So you have these different graphic settings here. You have the resolution settings. Um, uh, the window mode, I always use windowed full screen, and then you have graphics quality. So I selected Epic in this case, and I get all these different things, and you can select, I'll select medium here, um, and some of these things get checked off, and then you can go to low. So if you want everything to be simple, uh, you know, you can just go straight to that. But here's a few setting uh, tips that I have. Uh, for you uh, resolution scale we got all oh, maxed out here well we can go a little bit lower we can hit apply um, now we're before we were getting about 60 fps and now we're cranking out about 90 or so so I'm gonna go back up here hit apply um, view distance um, is the next one I use um, quite a bit and so we can hit low on that one hit apply and right now I'm getting a little bit better. We're not moving around, so our FPS is kind of um, staying the same. Go back up to Epic here. Uh, general shadows, train shadows. So, some, of, some of these things don't really add a whole lot to the game. I mean, they do make it look better, but you're not going to be worse off for, for getting it. So basically, general shadows, train shadows, you can put that on low to kind of um, get your max FPS out here. We'll put both of those to low and then we'll hit apply and you can see the background changes are, um, are kind of pronounced. Um, textures is pretty simple to explain. Um, put that as low and stuff is starting to look quite a bit muddy. Let's just uh, we'll hit save and we'll kind of look at, at stuff a little bit closer up here. You can see we've really lost any kind of definition um, in these leaves it looks pretty pretty gross but hey man sometimes you got to do what you got to do in order to play the game all right let's big whoops bring up our options again okay so and now we're pushing past 100 fps on this on this particular um, system i'll have a um, my system uh, stats down in the description below so let's just uh, put those um, textures back up here and we'll hit apply Sky detail, uh, sky quality is kind of a big one. Um, you know, you don't need any sky detail, and it doesn't really affect the way the game looks too much. So you can go ahead and set that to low. So I'm going to hit apply. And it hasn't really done much of anything for my FPS because I'm not really looking at the sky right now. Uh, let's save and resume, and we'll look at the sky. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're still getting 100 FPS. So looking pretty good. All right, let's go back into our settings then and into our options. So sky quality will leave low for sure. Now ground clutter density and ground clutter distance, these are another kind of big ones. 
So it's going to really affect the way things look up closer in the, you know, in the in far away. So I've got the distance set to pretty far. We can go real close, hit apply, and you can see now a cluttered distance. And let's do the cluttered density right away. Um, and some of those things, let's see, let's go look around. So some of the things on the leaves are completely flat against the ground now. Before they were kind of 3D and they were up, they look a little, a little funky. Um, but now they're gone. Um, one thing that's kind of nice about this is it, uh, grab some wood, um, is it also makes it easier to find bags when this stuff is gone. Otherwise they get kind of lost in the grass and, and whatnot. Um, so we're at 100 FPS right now. So let's go to escape again and go back into options. Motion blur. So I was wondering why things look crappy. Motion blur is annoying and everybody should take it off. Film grain, I don't know why you would do it. Um, the other thing, where is it? Distance shadowing. So distance field shadowing you can check off too. And light bloom and light shafts. So those are also really things that no one really needs. And so we're going to have to hit apply and resume. And where is the sun? It's kind of off in this direction. So so things look still pretty good at, at these settings, just uh, going down here. Now my FPS is at, uh, let's see, we're at 110 to like 130, depending upon how fast I'm looking around. Uh, let's look at those light blooms and shafts real quick so you can kind of see they don't really add a whole lot. I mean, if you're trying to make like an arc movie, maybe it looks good. So here, like you can see, you've got that lens filter kind of a, or not lens filter, but the lens flare kind of a thing going up there. Um, if I turn around here, you can kind of see the shine off of my armor is a little bit different. So those are the main settings. And so let's look at a couple other things that you can do to make your um, PC run a little smoother. Um, if you've got a lot of dynos, you're gonna notice that your FPS goes down the toilet. Um, and hold on just one second. All right, so I kept the settings that I had just had, and now my FPS is kind of, depending upon how fast I run around here, is pretty low. It's because I've got all these dinos. And so um, let's go back to my epic settings just to see how, how low it's going to be. So we'll go to, uh, let's go back to epic. We'll hit save. Okay, and resume. So in this situation, I'm running now. Let's see, we're down to 40. We're up to 85. Um, but really should be in the 92 range. So yeah, here we are. Okay, so we got 55 here. Now we're gonna hit backspace and see how that affects things. So that should help our frame rate. Um, things look a little bit weird because we got the motion blur. Yeah, so there we are, we're up into the 80s again. Um, so all the little uh, information by hitting backspace is gone. Um, you know, your hut disappears and stuff like that. So you might not want to do that. Uh, for long periods of time, but if you've got a busy base, this is kind of where I put my collection of dinos and collect eggs and stuff like that. So I kind of dump everywhere, everybody over here, and that's separate from my base, so I don't have just terrible frame rates at my base. So there's another thing. The more structures you add, the more dinos you add, the more your frame rate is going to go down, and the harder or more unpleasant it is going to be to play the game. Another thing you can do, even if you have a high-end system, is limit your FPS. So we're going to bring up the um, tab button again, and the, or the tab is going to bring up the console commands again. And now we're going to type in T dot max M A X um, FPS. So that's all one word kind of a thing. And then now we can select what FPS that the game is going to max out at. And so. Um, I like to do not 960, but <laughs> 60. There we go. So now the FPS is never going to go above 60. And so that's going to not tax your system as much anymore. It should make it run a little cooler. And so even if we went into escape, go into our options, and we'll go down just to medium settings, apply, and we're going to save here and resume. So our FPS, there we go, is never going to go um, above 60. So it'll make it run a little smoother, even though we got pretty, 
pretty mediocre to not so great graphic settings we should be running at like um, especially when we stop moving here we should be running 90 or 100 fps um, so that's most of it um, the next thing we can look at is um, launching the game uh, you can when you hit play right out of steam you'll get the different options to how you want to launch the game uh, one thing that I used to do all the time was launch no sky effects if you've got pretty low RAM then you can um, do the extremely low memory and at least you'll be able to play the game um, it might look like uh, not much at all but you'll be able to play the game and arcs I find a really fun game and I thought it was worth running at low frame rates and low graphic settings in the past um, but now I don't have to so that's great so I hope you found it helpful. You can put down uh, in the comments any uh, settings that you prefer. Um, and uh, hopefully you like the video. And if you have, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.